So what exactly is jQuery? Well, jQuery is a lightweight JavaScript framework that you can use in your web app to build interactivity. jQuery is also great for making it compatible with multiple browsers, multiple mobile devices, tablets, phones, and any other kind of desktop resolution. So we're going to go ahead and run through a quick tutorial and just show you the basics of using jQuery. So I'm going to create a new folder in my projects folder, and I will just call this jQuery. And I'm going to open this jQuery folder up in my favorite editor. And in this case, I'm using Sublime Text. And you can download it for free. You can just Google Sublime Text, and you can download it for free. Uh, I can click on New File, and I'll want to create an index.html. And inside here, I'm going to create a basic HTML structure. And I'll just call this page jQuery Tutorial. So the next step is we'll want to head over to jQuery.com and download the jQuery library. So if I go to jQuery.com, there's a big download jQuery button here to the right. I can click on that. You can click on the latest version in this case. It's uh, 1.11.2. There is a jQuery 2, but this is the recommended right now. So I'm going to download that library. And I'll want to bring it over to my project. And the next thing that I'm going to want to do is include this in my index.html file. So I will write script source and include that file right here. OK, and then I'm going to add a little bit to my page. I'm going to give it a header tag. I'll just say, hello there. And I'll give it a paragraph. I'm a paragraph. And then I'll also add a button. And I'm going to go ahead and save that page and open it up. And you'll see that we have a simple web page right now. And it's not doing much because we have not added any jQuery to show some interactivity in here. So let's go ahead and change that and add some JavaScript in our head tag. OK, and the first function that we're going to write is going to be something that you'll use very often when writing jQuery apps or just adding any kind of jQuery functionality into your app. So I'm going to start with the dollar sign, which is calling jQuery. So jQuery is essentially the dollar sign. Anytime you call that, you're calling the jQuery library. And the next thing that we're going to type in is our selector. And in this case, it's our document. And we want to say, once this document is ready, we can run this function. And this is going to be a function that you're going to use throughout your app a lot of times as you're writing jQuery code. You are saying essentially that once this HTML document is ready, then we can go ahead and run our functions from here. Otherwise, if your HTML page hasn't been fully loaded, then you can't guarantee that your functionality is going to work correctly. And the next thing that we'll want to do is once this button is clicked, let's go ahead and hide the paragraph. So again, we will say dollar sign to call jQuery. And our selector in this case is going to be this button that says click me. So we can just call the button here. And then we can call the action click. And once that is clicked, we can run this next function. And nothing's going to happen yet because right now we just said so far once the document is ready and once the button is clicked then what do we want to do from there? So let's go ahead and call jQuery again. And we will call the paragraph, and we'll tell the paragraph to hide. So if I save that, and I reload the page here, and I click on the Click Me button, you'll see that the paragraph has been hidden. Uh, we can then also type in Show if we wanted that to show. But in this case, let's call Toggle. And this toggle is going to hide and show whether it's uh, visible or not visible. So it'll see if it's visible, then let's hide it. If it's not visible, then let's show it. So if we refresh the page and we click on the Click Me button, then it is going to hide it and then show it and then just continue from there. So you can see in these little amount of lines of code that I've written that we were able to add interactivity with this button and this paragraph. And there are so many other functions that you can use. You can use another one called Slide Up. And if you click on the button, it will kind of add this slide up animation. You can also do slide toggle. And that'll do the same as toggle. It'll move it up and move it down. Uh, so there's so many functions that you can use with jQuery. I would recommend checking out jQuery and all the things that it can do. But I just wanted to run through this quick video and kind of show you how you can easily add some jQuery and interactivity into uh, your web application. And we'll be having more videos soon about jQuery and how to use jQuery in more advanced ways.